Hi everybody, I'm Shelby. And I'm Lou. And welcome back to the Country Living Homestead. Today, we're gonna to be talking about things that you should not throw away. So, grab your drink. Grab your drink, and let's get into it. Stay tuned. So one of the first things that we are not throwing away anymore are bread sacks that you get from the store when you buy bread. My husband and my grandmother both used to always save their bread sacks. My husband's grandmother used to love to use them for her own homemade bread and rolls, which is what we will be using them for. And my grandmother used to love saving these because she would give them to a lady that she knew and she would actually make little rugs out of them. So they can be really useful if you need to freeze something and you're out of plastic wrap, they can be used for that. So these definitely have a lot of uses. All right, the next items are plastic food containers. This is just a yogurt container that we bought yogurt in from the store. And I'm actually using this to keep my coffee in because I buy coffee in the bag and it can tend to get really messy if you try to keep it in the bag. So I store that in here. These little cups that you get from like yogurts and stuff like that, they are perfect to drill a hole or two in the bottom of these and use them to start your seedlings in the spring. So some really great uses there. And these are also really great if you keep the lids for storing leftovers. And another type of food container I'm going to be keeping are these little um, clamshells, I guess you'd call them, that your salads come in. These make perfect little mini greenhouses to plant tomatoes and peppers in in the spring. It helps keep the seedlings or the seeds warm enough to germinate in these. So they're really great for that. All right, next on my list are worn out jeans. Worn out jeans are fantastic to have on hand. They're great for patching other jeans that may just have a small hole in the knee or something like that. They're also great to cut into strips. You can make really um, durable crocheted denim rugs out of these by cutting them into strips and sewing the strips together. You can also even make really durable quilts if you're a quilter out of this fabric. So a lot of good uses for the denim and also old clothing clothing that's ripped or just generally wore out, if it's an absorbent material, I keep it and I cut it up and I make rags. And this helps save so much money on paper towels that it's just crazy. So great use for your old clothes and you can save a lot of money on paper towels in the meantime and it's one less thing that needs to go to the landfill. Okay, so next on my list is corrugated cardboard. I found a great use for cardboard this year when I did my raised bed gardens. And it's fantastic to put in the bottom of your raised beds to go ahead and keep those weeds down. Also, if you have a wood stove, this can make a really great fire starter. So definitely a handy thing to have around. I mean, obviously you only wanna save so much of this. You don't want your whole house to be full of cardboard, but definitely um, some great gardening uses. Another great thing to keep are these disposable little pie tins that you get in the store. If you buy like a pre-made pie or something like that, you can even get smaller ones. If you buy like the little lunchbox pies, these are really great if you're struggling with birds around your garden. We punch a hole in these right about here, put up a T post and hang these from the T post and they clatter up against the T-post anytime it's windy out there. And I think their reflective surface also keeps the birds away and they, they don't like the noise either. So we definitely save these anytime we can get them and use those in our garden. Next are eggshells. We are going to be saving our eggshells from now on. I like to take these eggshells, wash them out really well and bake them at about 250 degrees for maybe about 10 minutes and then these can be ground up or crushed up and fed back to your chickens as a calcium supplement. They're also really great to add to your garden if you grind them up, especially around your tomato plants because they really like calcium. 
and you can also just crush them up and throw them right into your compost pile. And we normally give our chickens oyster shell as a calcium supplement, but I have noticed that it's kind of hit or miss as far as finding the oyster shell. Sometimes the stores will have it in and sometimes it's just not there. So I'm definitely going to be cleaning these eggshells and using them as a backup for sure. And this also goes for veggie and fruit scraps, any type of food scraps. We have pigs, we have chickens, so we'll be feeding our animals the majority of our food scraps, but anything that we have left over will also go in our compost bin. So there you have it, folks, things you should not throw away. Make sure you hang on to those things. So don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button down below. We certainly appreciate it. And thanks everybody for watching and we hope you have, have a, a great, great day. day.